Hello, and welcome back to Charge Particles 201. Now that we've seen the marketplace, let's look at how to mint an NFT. Now, if you've minted NFTs on other platforms, this should be pretty straightforward. Charge Particles NFTs are completely non-custodial ERC-721s, but they come pre-built with all of the functionality of the Charge Particles protocol. This means as soon as you're done minting, you'll be able to nest all sorts of other assets inside. So let's jump into it. All right, so we're here at app.charged.fi and we wanna mint our first NFT. So the first thing we're gonna do is connect our wallet. You can do MetaMask or whatever other wallet connect you prefer. Then we'll go to this tab here that says mint. Here's where we can fill in all the sorts of basic info you come to expect when you're minting an NFT. I'm gonna choose this silly photo of me with a bunch of mangoes in my mouth and we'll call this one mango mouth. Uh, tasty <laughs> properties. You can fill in anything here, you know, the artist, the medium, the size, any of the other details, like the date that it was created or any of this sort of stuff. And if you attach any additional files, these will be stored on IPFS alongside the NFT, but that doesn't need to happen. Now here I'm going to set my creator royalties. So if I sell this NFT and someone else buys it, uh, and then resells it, that I could get a portion of that sale as a royalty. Go ahead and say maybe 10% of the resale as a royalty. So if this continues to be sold, if it's this piece of art with heritage and lineage, that I, as the creator, can continue to get some royalties from that. We also have another royalty to set here, which is the percentage of interest earned. So that means if I put some some stable coins, say like $1,000 worth of USDC inside this NFT and it starts earning interest. And then I sell this NFT with all of those stable coins inside that even after I sell it, that the interest earned inside that NFT can perpetually come back to me as a royalty as well. So let's set 10% on this one as well. These are optional, but um, an interesting way to um, ensure royalties if you're hoping to sell this NFT uh, or you sell some art that you hope will continue to resell. So I'll go ahead and click Mint Particle. And uh, yeah, that'll pop up a, a dialog box with my MetaMask. I can click Confirm, and then that will mint this NFT. All right, and just like that, my NFT has been minted. If I go to my manage page now, we can see that this NFT has been successfully minted. I can click on this and see I have access now to a whole new set of tools that will let me do some exciting things, which we'll be learning how to use in the upcoming videos. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.